Hi there everyone, this is your friend Jake Rodriguez from Perada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Welcome to my channel. And then in this video tutorial, we will create a program that will ask the user to give starting year in ending year. And then our program will check, will list down all the leap years in the given starting and ending year by the user so let's before we start if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials so let's get started right now we are here in Microsoft Visual Basic Basically, I'm using this older version, 5.0. So, I have created 1, 2, 3. 3 labels, starting year, ending year, list of leap years, list of leap years. And then, we have also here 2 text box, the starting year, ending year, and then list box. And then, OK button clear in quit let us go first with the ok button we double click and then here in our code we have here option explicit and then i have here a function to check for the leap year no so on error resume if leap year equals false it is boolean if year, if the year is eventually divisible by 4 or not by 100 then this is a leap year if y mode for modulus uh, if there is a remainder 4 equals 0 and y mode 100 not equal to 0 then is left here 0 equals true if the uh, year is even eventually divisible by 4 and by 100 then to check if the quotient of the year divi divided by 100 is also evenly divisible by 4 if it is then this is a leap year else if else if y mode 4 equals 0 and y mode 100 equals 0 then if y backslash 100 mode 4 equals 0 then leap year 0 equals true and if and function so next we have here in our button ok button we have here dim y as integer for y val we convert a uh, uh, string into um, integer text one text the start this is the starting year to uh, text two that is ending year so if leap year zero y using for loop then is leap year zero add item y it will this command will list down all the years between the starting year here and then the ending year here and sub to the next button that is clear so text box one that text and text to te the text clear if leap year equals clear we clear the list box and then text one that set the focus here and then for the third button we have here the end to end the program so let us run our program to see the results so we have here starting here let's say we have here 1900 up to 20 year 2020 the current year when we click ok it will list down all the leap years between 1900 and 2020 so we have here 1904 1908 1912 1916 1984, 1988, 1992, 1996, 19, uh, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and the current year 2020 is also a leap year. When we click the clear, so we can give it again, let's say 1970 up to 1980. A decade for 10 years. So we have only 3, 1972, Let's say 1980 up to 1995. So we have here 1980, 1984, 1988, and 1992. So clear. 
when we click the quit button our program exit so let uh, I will give a link in the description below where you can download the complete listing of the source of the source code so finally to year 2000 and then we have year 2025 so the starting year, year 2000, ending year 2025, the list of year, leap years, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020, and 2024. This is the end of our tutorial video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial. Share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. This is your friend, Jake Rodriguez, Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental Philippines says, until to the next video tutorial guys, bye bye for now.